Hello friends, welcome here or welcome back to another video. As of about five minutes ago, I have come back from a very rainy morning of errands and I am fully ready to have a really festive and fun filled day, no matter what the weather decides to do. I'm feeling very, very proud of myself for going out in pouring rain um, and getting everything done because I've been in such a slump for the past week or so and just finding tasks like that really difficult to do. So I'm super proud of myself for doing that. And as luck would have it, of course, now I'm back as a little treat, I think. The sun is now out so I can enjoy doing some fun things around the flat for a few hours before I head out again. So first on my agenda today, it's mid-morning and I would like to make myself a nice Christmassy cup of coffee and wrap some Christmas presents. So that is my first order of business for today. It's gonna to be a really relaxed, but hopefully fun-filled, festive day today. So thank you for being here and for joining me. Feel free to grab yourself a lovely warm drink of choice and a cozy blanket and snuggle down for what will hopefully be a really heartwarming video. But first, coffee. have passed now and I am feeling rather peckish. Um, I need some sustenance before I head out in an hour or so. So I am thinking cheese toasty but with a festive twist and I have some cranberry cheese which I'm going to try in a toasty. Also a festive chutney to put in there as well so I'm very excited and I'm also going to drink up the remainder of my Christmas coffee, which was absolutely delicious. I added in a few um, cloves, about half a teaspoon of cinnamon and some freshly grated nutmeg and then some brown sugar as well as a little treat because why not have hopefully what will be a really delicious lunch.
What's up, YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> We have just come, well, no, we haven't just come back, have we? We've been back for a little while, and I have come back with a new tea, and it smells amazing. So we're gonna do a taste test. I already sipped it, so, no, ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> for those that don't know, this is George, my boyfriend. And he will be tasting the tea. For the first time. For the first time. I also thought we could read out our quotes. All of the yogi teas come with little quotes oh. on the tags. So mine says, have wisdom in your actions and faith in your men. Little affirmation. That's good, that's good. Mine says, act, don't react. <laughs> Which, <laughs> sounds deep, but like, I guess it means like, be like, proactive instead of re reactive, yeah. but platitude, perhaps. And with that, cheers. Clink. You go first. Smells amazing. Doesn't taste doesn't, like it smells. It though. doesn't taste like it smells. It smells a lot sweeter. I think this yeah. would be really nice with some honey. You can definitely taste the cinnamon though. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it is nice. Main note is cinnamon with like a little bit of just Christmas spice. Do you want to try it with some honey in? Or are you good? Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm gonna do it. Oh, <laughs> we've got a trailblazer here. Or maybe here. brown sugar. That sounds good, yeah. Do you want brown sugar? Yeah, I would love some brown sugar. Just a little, just a smidgen. Take two, so with brown sugar. With yes. brown sugar. Mm. That's a lot better. I mean, big surprise, sugar makes it taste good. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes more Christmassy. Yeah, it's, br it's bringing out the other flavors a little bit more, you know? Um, like, uh... I feel like if you had vanilla sugar, that would take it to the next level. Vanilla that would be expensive. what I would... In this economy? <laughs> Another part in this economy! And see. <laughs> it is good though. Much better with brown sugar. Much better. Mm. Much cozier. Like, richer, kind of. Mm. I still think it, we should try it with the vanilla as well though. Cause... So it's a little bit later. George has left for the evening. I have got into a very warm fleecy pair of pajamas and dressing gown. I don't know if you can hear, but it is blowing a gale outside and my flat is freezing. It does not retain heat very well. So it is also dinner time and I am craving a hearty, delicious, warming meal. I have some leftover mashed potato to eat up. I've got some veggie sausages I can pop in the air fryer. And I think I'm also gonna do some carrots and peas as well. I'm gonna add some cranberry sauce and some gravy, of course, at the end. And it sounds like it's gonna be a really, really yummy, delicious meal. Good evening everybody. Um, I spent my evening just relaxing and originally I was going to write all of my Christmas cards but then I remembered that I actually wanted to make one for George <laughs> so I needed to make that for tomorrow because that's when we're exchanging gifts so I ended up having a little bit of painting. It was a really silly card. It does look a little bit like a kid's craft project but that's fine. I think he'll like it anyway. It's the thought that counts. I have my peppermint tea here and I think I'm going to round off my evening just doing a little bit of journaling. But I'm going to say goodnight to you now. I had such a lovely festive time. I just wanted to make a bit of an effort today because the weather was so rainy and the kind of weather that usually makes me feel a little bit downhearted especially at this time of year when there's so little sunlight already and then it's so gloomy and grey and just not very 
nice weather during the day but it is much needed weather and I have to keep reminding myself of that. This time of year can be really tricky for a lot of us for lots of different reasons, um, whether that's struggling with the daylight or lack of daylight, whether that is the festivities themselves. I know that that can also be difficult depending on the situation that you find yourself in. There's also the added pressure at the moment of cost of living, which of course is exacerbated by colder weather and higher bills and all of that but also by the season that we find ourselves in and I know that there is a pressure to spend a lot of money and time and sometimes I think it can feel like we have to give more than we are able to in, in whatever capacity that might be and I just want to encourage you that you just being there is enough. When I was planning this video and kind of the things to include to make it feel more festive for myself and just kind of for you guys as well. I was realising that the things that I find the most joyful and the most festive and fun are the really small moments that you just have with your friends and your family and your loved ones. I went out today to meet George after work and to do a little bit of Christmas shopping, just a few little bits and bobs and I realised that my favourite part of this season is just seeing Christmas lights and treating myself to a pack of tea that is festive themed in its flavours and that feeling of getting out of the cold and wrapping up in a blanket. It's just these sort of like little memories and little moments that make the season really special. So I just want you to know that firstly you're not struggling alone and secondly that you can just give what you can and just be present and be there. That's what, that's what really matters. Anyway, that was a lot of rambling. Thank you so much for being here. I am sending you lots of warm wishes and love to you wherever you are, day or night. Take care and I will see you next week. Goodbye.